How big is enough? We're talking about custom water cooling radiators, of course. Before we talk about what size radiator you should use in your custom water cool PC, we should talk about a couple things. First of all, what is a custom water cooling radiator? What are some factors that will dictate the size of this radiator? And third, what are some industry rules of thumb when it comes to what size radiator you should use. We'll cover all of this in this video, so make sure you guys stick around. First, a PC water cooling radiator is used to cool the fluid inside your custom water cooling loop. It works by allowing fresh air to blow through the radiator fins and exchange heat from the fluid inside your loop to the ambient air outside of your system. Radiator sizes are usually dictated by the fan size. Fans come in various sizes, but for today's video, we will focus on the 120 millimeter variant. Now, when it comes to the standard 120 millimeter size radiators, they come in three different sizes. 120 millimeter like this, 240 millimeter, and 360 millimeter. Some factors that dictate the radiator size and even the thickness is, of course, the size of your case. What components you're trying to cool, meaning how hot does your CPU and GPU run, and how complex your loop is, your pump, and of course, your budget. In previous years, the rule of thumb was to use a 120 millimeter radiator space plus one for each component you're trying to cool. So let me explain. If you have a CPU and a GPU that you're trying to cool in your custom water cooling loop, consider using 120 millimeter for each component plus one, meaning using at least 360 millimeters of radiator space to keep your PC cool. Well, it's safe to say that CPUs and GPUs have becoming hotter and more power hungry in recent years. If performance is priority, focus on the water cooling system as a whole, instead of just one component at a time. Focus on getting a high flow rate pump with high static pressure fans as well. Go for at least 240 millimeters of radiator space plus one for each component that you're trying to cool. Anything more than that could lead to diminishing returns, but it's up to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to click the subscribe button to see more water cooling content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.